This is your city boy, OG Bright D, host of Urban Realness. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, notification, and share button. I'm going to kick a story off with my young years, man. We used to be on a thing called the RTD, which means the Rapid Transit District Bus, right? And we called them the Rough, Tough, and Dangerous. So I'm going to go a story one day when we was going downtown LA. It's me, my own boy Westbrook, my own boy Trey Dog, my own boy Bunky, and I think my boy Bob was with us. So we on the bus. So we go downtown to the movies. We kicking it, the arcade movie. We used to sneak in through the back. Go look at some kung fu movies. We come back to the set. We on the number two, goes up Compton Avenue. But it goes by Jefferson High. So I'm on sitting on the back of the bus, man. In all my fame and glory is a mad little teenager. And I got a rag on me. They got sold on it. The letters are sold on it. All oh, these oh, uh, local CPC. See how we shared coaches? Ha ha. Local L O C O. That's what it said at the top. C P C. So I'm at the back of the bus, sitting in the back. It's all the gang members. We used to go to the back of the bus, and we see two dudes in front of Jeff High. So tell the bus driver, don't stop there. He stopped anyway. It's about. 20 dudes come on the bus in the line, and they go out the back door. One of them go out the back door, and then they come in through the back door. So I'm sitting up right down what I was thinking about, man. And uh, he's like, what's that? I tell him, it says local CPC. Drug squad. One of them stabbing the top of my mouth, man, right into my lip, man. Stabbing into my lip with an ice pick. And uh, yeah. So we get off the bus. I get off the bus. I make it. I'm running, I take the blue rag, I go up to this house, knock on the door to give me some ice. I still have the blue rag. Put the ice on my lip, I'm walking to burn it with an old Pisa. I'm walking next to a Pisa. And I'm like trying to play there like, damn, because these dudes looking all over for me. My old boy West don't know where I'm at. Even with the six dudes, he's close to telling our homeboy we think he did, this, that, another. And uh, so I'm walking with this Pisa. You know, people gave me some ice on they, you know, and I put in the rag. And uh, I ended up catching the bus. Bus going to burn it. Yeah, and I make it to Inglewood. Go hide out to my living like, woo, way out here, man. And uh, so I come to hood about a week later. Wes and them, they don't contact me, nothing. He think I'm dead and everything else. That's my tight old way, Westbrook. And uh, still tight to this day. How many people can say they have friends from over 40 years ago? And so, anyway, that's one of my bus stories. So I'm going to call these little segments. Oh, war stories, but I'm going to sit on the RTD first, rough, tough, and dangerous. Because, see, the buses used to run, anybody know, the 84 used to run up Vermont. No, the 84 used to run up Western. The 85 used to run up Vermont. The number two used to run up uh, Compton Avenue. And the number 33 and the 95, they used to run up uh, Wilmington and Willowbrook. The number three used to run up Central. The number five used to run up Crenshaw, then it'll turn on Florence, and then it'll go up... Uh, up uh, La Brea, and the 117 used to run up Century. First, he used to run in front of the projects, the JDs of 103rd. Then he go all the way up to Avalon. He turned, then he turned from Avalon to Century. So these were the buses that went through everybody's neighborhoods. So I'm telling some of the adventures I had on the rough, tough, and dangerous. Because you, you know, you sometimes you see brothers jumping out them back windows, man. But the rough, tough, and dangerous. On 832, used to run up Manchester. These are bus numbers for y'all that don't know. And you see brothers jumping out them back windows, boy, but I got some adventures, man, where brothers on the bus be back there smoking some boat from Colombia, and that's weed. Bus driver pull over, come back to, man, let me hit that joint. Let me get one of them joints, man. You know, yeah, the bus, back of the bus used to be parties, man. Yeah, they did. So I'm going to I'm gonna kick some of the stories about when I was a juvenile, some of my adventures, man, and some in my 20s. But look at that thumbnail. It says, how did men go from this to that? Look at that. We was in khakis. <laughs> and you see what that other thing is. That's going to make you laugh. But yeah, every time y'all see that thumbnail up, you know it's going to be one of these stories that I'm kicking. I'm not kicking no prison stories. I don't care about prison, man. I ain't in prison no more, man. I left that joint behind me. I focus on the today, what's going on on the streets. The only pass I go on is just tell about some adventures I had. And trust you me, I done had some, man. Where I done been trapped off, man, by the Damus. Ooh, man, I got some stories, Jack. You know, but on that note, man, it's the hub and the double neighborhood love. Two of them, baby. Hope y'all get entertained off that little snippet, man.